Huge calls for help with bills. Most households in Cambridgeshire have been getting £400 from the government in energy support, paid in monthly instalments since October. But that ends this month, and typical household energy bills could soon rise to £3,000 a year. Don't panic. Hmm, deep breath. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is now expected to extend the government's energy price guarantee scheme for another three months. The average annual household bill has been due to rise to £3,000, but the new proposal would keep it to a mere £2,500 a year. Cost of Living correspondent Kevin Peachy has all the details. Officially, the level of government support remains under review before the budgets later this month. Practically, suppliers have been told to prepare bills for April with a dual possibility of the guarantee changing or staying the same. Realistically, it's become even more likely that the government will maintain support as it is now. Even so, a £400 discount on everyone's bills this winter will come to an end and there are questions whether the £3 billion it would cost to extend the guarantee for three months could be better spent if targeted at those struggling the most to pay their bills. Kevin Peachy reporting there. Well, Melanie Pittock is the CEO of Age UK, Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. Melanie, morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, Good morning. Now, this seems a bit confusing. Things seem to change a lot at the minute, and even I'm struggling to keep up. Yeah, they do. And um, all of the different payments that have been available over the last year have been... Um, certain people have been eligible, others haven't, and it's all been rather confusing. And I think some people, particularly older people um, who were in receipt of pension credit, could have re received up to £1,400 throughout the last year. And of course, um, that's not everybody and, and who, is, who is entitled, etc. So it's very confusing. So the £400 that most, let's just, let's just talk in bro broad brush strokes because I appreciate so many people are going to have different um, situations, but in broad brush strokes, the £400 that most people have received, that's coming to a close this month. It will make people panic. Are there many other options of support available? Yes, there are. Um, so I'm, I'm coming at this from an older person's perspective um, and there is the Household Support Fund that we are supporting the local councils to administer. Um, that is available until the end of this month and people can apply and there's some eligibility around it. Um, you have to be born um, on or before the 30th of April 1957. Um, you have to live in Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. And um, if you're experiencing financial hardship, then it's really worth getting in touch with us because it may be that you could be entitled to one or even two payments of £110, either in a bank transfer or in vouchers for food, which could help you with, with your, your bills. Um, so there's a telephone number for that. It's probably worth just mentioning that. It's 01223 221929. So if you live in Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, you will then speak to um, somebody from Age UK, Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, and we will help you to determine if you're eligible. Um, I filled in for Jeremy a couple of weeks ago on the mid-morning show and I was there for the money hour and we had Richard Curtis on from CAB in Cambridge and it was, well firstly it was exhausting to keep on top of his knowledge, I mean it was just unbelievable the stuff that he knew, but it was quite heartening to realise that actually a lot of us might be eligible for bits and bobs here and there that could make a difference, but it's quite overwhelming isn't it? Do Age UK kind of offer a service where we can just pop up or arrange a consultation and say this is my situation? situation specific to me so you can do a more specific breakdown of what you're eligible for yes absolutely so so we have um, an, an information and advice service as you can imagine we're very busy at the moment and yeah. um, we always are but particularly the demand has increased over the last 12 months with the cost of living crisis um but if people want to phone the number that um i've just given out then we can we kind of take a bit of a wraparound approach to this it's not just a case of handing out 110 pounds we really want yeah. to help people to identify why they're struggling and let's face it we're all struggling but is are there any other ways that we can help that we can identify that that will support them and make them feel more confident that, that the future is going to look brighter so by all means do get in touch um we, we are, you know, I know that the CAB are doing exactly the same, but I just wanted to also mention that moving forward into what we 
tackle the next financial year from the 1st of April. The household support fund is continuing for another year. That's been um, announced by central government. Um, and there's over £7 million coming to Cambridgeshire and nearly £4 million coming to Peterborough. And a large proportion of that will be set up set aside for school meals so that children are eating and um, that that isn't coming at a cost for parents. Um, but the rest is set aside for vulnerable households. So, um, okay. you know, it's worth mentioning that. And, and just also to reassure people that the state pension is going at 10.1%, so that's £19 a week additional income. Melanie, that's all really reassuring. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Um, and just to give us that number one more time, I know Glenn's made a note of it, so if anybody's missed it, we'll be able to give it to you. But tell us that number one more time. Of course, it's 01223 221 And um, obviously we are busy, so please leave a message and somebody will come back to you if your, phone, if your call isn't answered immediately. Melanie, thank you for everything that you're doing. I know it's a really tough time for all the people that are working in these frontline services as well, so uh, keep thank up you. the great work. Thank you so much, Melanie Pittock there, the CEO of Age UK, Cambridgeshire and Peterborough.